Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be doing a quick look at the Android 13 beta 2.1 for the Google Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 4a. And I'm going to actually update it on my Google Pixel 6 and then kind of compare it to the Google Pixel 4a because if you look at both of these releases on, on both of these guys, it's pretty much going to be, they're on the same exact uh, software release. So it's going to be about 11 megabytes for the pixel 4a and about 15.35 megabytes for the pixel 6. so some of the known bug fixes that they did mention are the fix where you'll when you're typing in the search bar you end up with a blank list of suggestions so that's no longer going to be the case you will get suggestions with this fix you also will get there was an issue where devices would crash and restart when you're turning on the hotspot and then the other issue was that when you were actually you know um on a on a phone call you would hear continuous call dialing sound in the background during the phone call which is fixed they're also going to actually fix the crash where it would restart after disconnecting from the android auto so let's just jump in i'm gonna download this guy on the pixel 6 and we're gonna compare the software after both of these got well after the six is done downloading and installing the android beta so make sure you stay locked in with me all right guys so this literally took like about an hour and a half to download so if you have something to do like today or whatever and you're downloading it today i wouldn't recommend actually uh i would probably like cancel your plans or whatever because you know this thing did take quite some time to update but let's you can see right here i didn't download it on the pixel 4a but i did download it on the pixel 6 so i'm going to hit reboot right now all right guys so we're going to be comparing both systems side by side so when i swipe down from here i noticed that you have to swipe down twice and you can get your alerts down here which shows the active apps you could also add to switch users as well or down here you could stop active apps right there you could also add users i put this icon so i can add users you get the off button you get the settings button and um, as far as this thing right here you can see the brightness is at the top now all the way at the top on both of them the older beta version and the newer beta version uh, so you get to gpay on there screen recording extra dim everything is going to be pretty much looking the same you can see that the music player when you hit play it'll do a squiggly line but when it's paused it won't have that there so i think that's something that's also pretty cool too swiping down once you're going to notice that i get all my icons down here i'm not sure if i just cleared the history on on it or something but it does have like this history bar right here i noticed on the older one this one has a manage bar and um so it, it's notification history it tells you like all the notifications that came in on your phone as far as the history of it you could turn that off or on hi silence notifications and status bar so you get some extra features when it comes to the status bar right there when you get to the manage button so i think that's something that's new but you can see all of the let me clear all so now when i swipe down those it'll show the icons but it won't show them on here even though i cleared them all so right so that's something that's new okay when you hit the google search bar you're going to notice that the apps are actually at the top versus the bottom for the most recent apps so that's something that's new and um when you do the pixel buds when you open those up you're going to notice that the widget is going to remain it's going to tell you right here it's going to say let me see connect It's still connecting so once they're connected it's going to show the uh, additional uh, devices as well as the case battery percentage and the device battery percentage you can see right here that the widgets do get pretty small when it comes to the this guy right here the clock widget that's something that's pretty cool you can make it real small so i have the clock widget up here it's tiny you can make that bigger if you want or you could just make it real small so i like the fact that you you could do that you could kind of resize it make it really small like a really tiny widget on there so that's something that's pretty cool 
Uh, so like I said, it's going to also show the battery percentage right here on the, on the phone. And then right here, there's a Z bar, which will allow you to snooze it, but you can undo that too. Uh, you know, so that's something I did notice. Now, as far as the overall home screen options, let me just click that and you still get your wallpapers. The, the wallpapers seem to be a bit higher up on the Pixel 6. It's higher up, but on the Google Pixel 4a, it's lower. So I just noticed the difference right there. So maybe um, the beta 2.1 makes the widget screen higher up on the screen. That's something I did notice. Okay. As far as the overall widgets, they're going to have the same amount of things equally, uh, which is pretty cool. So you get all your features right there. All right. So let me just show you that one more time. Wait, hold on. Widgets. So everything looks the same on both as far as the widgets. Um, and, you know, I'm just looking at both of these things. Uh, Facebook, the animations are quicker. Like, well, they're both really quick, but they got really quick, especially when you're multitasking like this. Let me see. Like that. So it's really quick when you're multitasking. And that's the older version, but the newer version is even quicker. You can see how fast that is. So you can get from point A to point B, but I just wanted to show you that um, you can't go up now. Like right here, you can't swipe up unless you're in an app, then you can swipe up. But on this one, you could just swipe up. So that's something that's also new. So like, let me show you if I'm out of all the apps and I try to swipe up on both. Now I can do it. So that's weird. You also get the share button right here. So you can share that the, some of the things that you um, right here, the share button is at the top on the pixel six, but it's at the bottom on the pixel four. So I just wanted to show you that right here, it's down below, but up here it's up top. So everything has kind of been moved around a little bit as far as like the overall way that they put it on the device, but everything just looks pretty much the same except for like the placement of where they put things. So they put it a little bit higher up in the Google Pixel 6, but on the 4A, it's a little bit lower. I did notice, right? And when you swipe down one time, you're also gonna see the icons right here on the bottom, but you don't get icons down here on the bottom. Even if I clear them all out, it's still gonna show the icons on the bottom, like one, two, whereas this one doesn't show the icons on the bottom. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, let me know if you found anything that's pretty cool so far. Let's see. We do get the app tray looks pretty much the same with the Google Lens, the search and the Google logo right here. So you can get to that, that, that Google search. And like I said, that's going to be at the top versus at the bottom on the Google search bar too. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. So let's do wallpapers now. Let's see if there's any new like wallpapers or something. As far as the accented colors, you're still getting like 16. So four, eight, um, you know, you know, tw um, 12 or whatever, and then 16 and then 20. So you get 20 different accented colors to choose from. You still get the dark theme with themed icons. So you can make the icons themed as well. So now when you look at the icons, they're going to have that same theme as your home screen. So it's still gonna say Android 12 right here. So I just wanted to sh do this video so you guys could see some of the differences between these things. Let me know what you think about the beta 13. Let me know if you notice any new features on here or any bugs so far with this update. And I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section right now and I'm gonna answer all your questions, but make sure you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, have a great night. Later crew, peace.